Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are 21 unique and awesome features of Honor 5X. So guys, most of the things that I'm going to show you are unique to EMUI or the OS that is running on this Honor 5X and on other Honor devices. So there are a few stuff that you can achieve using third party apps on other phones, but on the Honor devices, they come inbuilt and hence more secure and reliable. So guys, the first thing is the fingerprint scanner and there are other devices that have the fingerprint scanner with few gestures but the Honor devices are the ones that take complete advantage of the fingerprint scanner. So you can use this fingerprint scanner to unlock your device, take pictures using the stock camera app and you have some basic gestures like touch to go to home screen, answering calls and recording calls using the fingerprint scanner. So apart from that, you can simply swipe down the fingerprint scanner to open notification bar or else swipe up to open recent task panel. So these are two unique features that I found only on the Honor devices. And apart from that, you can even lock applications using the fingerprint scanner. So that feature is missing in the Lenovo phones, OnePlus One and many other phones having the fingerprint scanner. So as I've said, this is the only device probably which is taking complete advantage of its fingerprint scanner. So guys, going on next, we have this unique lock screen. So we do have the themes and we can change how the lock screen looks. But we have this nice lock screen animation. I guess this is called as sunshine. So you have such cool animations in the lock screen so you can use the themes app to configure those things and apart from that you have all these list of themes that you can download and apply in the lock screen if you swipe up from the bottom you get these additional toggles these are just few shortcuts and if you have a media player running you get additional keys for the media player apart from that we always get this camera shortcut so simply place your finger on the camera and swipe up to quickly open camera app and this is by far the fastest way to open the camera i've seen So guys, if we go to the home screen, if we swipe down, we will open an all-in-one search app. And I guess this is called as quick search on Samsung based devices. So you can search all your files, contacts, SMS files, and basically everything on your phone with this particular application. And I have been looking for a similar app for Nexus based devices or Cyanogen based devices. And so far there's no good news, but this comes pre-installed. So let me just show you once again. So I can simply swipe down on the home screen and I get this search bar. From here, I can search for apps, files, contacts, SMS, anything. So let me just try Nikhil. It will give me my mail ID. Just give it some time until it searches. Okay, I have not entered my full name. So there you have it. It has found my name in the contact section. So a very nice feature if you have all your data scrambled in multiple apps. So guys, the next thing is the ultra power saving mode. If we go to the notification toggles, we have this toggle for ultra battery. So once you enable it, all your apps will be killed and you get access to only these three apps, the phone dialer, messaging app and contacts. All your other apps like Facebook, WhatsApp will be stopped or blocked. In this way, we can definitely improve your battery life a lot. Even if you're having like 10% or 15% of battery and once you have enabled this mode, you can definitely get more than five hours of battery life. So far the only disadvantage I found with this mode is it will change your default home launcher and probably all the default apps. So guys going on next we have something called as SOS app or Save Our Souls app. So this is the app and once again there are a lot of apps in the play store which do the same thing but this comes pre-installed and hence more secure and no one can stop it. So you can create your triggers using this volume keys. Let's say my trigger is volume up and power button. So when I press these two buttons, my location will be sent to my emergency contacts and an alarm tone will be ringing at its highest volume. And nobody will be able to stop it unless they enter the password. So once again, a very nice feature that comes pre-installed. So guys, going on next, we have something called as protected apps. So guys, whenever you lock your device, most of the apps go to sleep, but apps like WhatsApp, Facebook, Keep running in the background to check for your messages and notifications and thereby consume a lot of battery. So using this protected app section, you can disable those apps. So let's assume this app dialer is a Facebook application and when your device is turned off, it is constantly communicating with the Facebook servers and thereby not allowing your phone to sleep properly, which thereby increases your battery drain. So in that case, simply disable the app. So from now on, whenever your display is turned off, the application will stop working. So how it will affect you is, let's say you have WhatsApp, 
So for an example, if you have WhatsApp application and it is enabled, you will get messages even when your display is turned off. So if you disable it, you won't get any messages when your display is turned off. So that's something that you need to know of. I usually prefer to disable all Facebook applications because they constantly run in the background and consume a lot of resources. So guys going on next, this is the notification area. This is where we get all our notifications and unlike other Android devices, we get a nice timeline showing when we got the notification. So that's something very unique to Honor devices. Next if you go to the notification toggles, we have something called as dual windows. We can open two applications at once and all applications doesn't support this feature. For example, let me just try YouTube. Now to open the second window or second app, I need to press and hold the recent button. And now I get the second window. From here I can select any other app. So as you can see, now I'm able to use YouTube and Hangouts both at the same time. Let's go back to home. If I try to do the same with the phone dialer, I get this toast saying the application is not supported for dual window. None of the stock apps that I've tried support dual window the phone dialer, contacts or messages. So guys going on next we have something called as floating YouTube player. So this can be achieved only using the stock video player. So this is the app and I want to play this video. So while playing this video I have this option over here on the top right corner of the screen and when I click that I open up the video player in a floating window. So a very nice feature copied from Samsung probably. So guys going on next we have something called as floating dock. We can find the toggle in the notification area once again. So this is the dock. So you get this nice bubble with shortcuts. So whenever you are using your device in this way it's pretty hard to access this notification buttons just like I'm unable to access these buttons. So in this situation this floating dock will be of great help. So as you can see I can navigate throughout my phone using just this floating dock. So guys to disable the floating dock you need to go to the notification toggles and disable it over here. So guys going on next we have something called as simple UI mode and this is how it looks. So it basically enlarges the icons font. So this looks exactly like the windows tiles mode with large icons and increased font size. So this mode is very helpful for elderly people with eyesight problems. So to disable that you can go to settings, select home screen style and select standard. So if you are giving this phone to any elderly person just enable that simple mode and give it to them and this phone will be a delight for them to use. So guys going on next we can even tweak this navigation bar. So if we go to settings we have a section for notification bar. So we can basically change the position of these keys and even add a new button over here to pull down the notification bar. So when you do that, the notification bar drops down. So when you're using your phone in this way, you can't really access the notification bar. So you can use this button over here to quickly open notification bar. So once again, you can change the positions, location of these buttons. So you can swap the back button and the recent button. And this button is to lock the screen. So once I press that, the display will turn off and the device is now locked. So let's go back to the default one. So guys, the next unique feature is the network dApps. So there we have it. So it basically lists all the applications that are installed on your device, both the user apps and the system apps. And from here you can deny permissions for any app to have internet access over mobile data or Wi-Fi. So for example, we have the YouTube app and I don't want to use YouTube on mobile data just because it costs me a lot. So I'll simply disable it and if I try to access YouTube over mobile data, it simply says that there is no connection. So once again, you can achieve the same thing with third party apps, but this comes pre-installed. So guys coming to one of my favorite features, if we go to managed apps, we have something called as default app settings. So from here we can basically set default apps for all these categories. So I can set a default launcher, default phone dialer, default messaging app, default camera app, default gallery app and all these apps. I simply love this feature and I don't understand why Google doesn't implement it. I guess this feature is also taken from iOS devices. I'm not pretty sure. Just let me know by commenting below this video. So that's one really cool feature. So guys in settings if you swipe right you get this simplified view. So you have some unique options over here like if you go to wallpaper you can change the wallpaper by simply shaking your phone or randomly change wallpaper every 5 minutes or every day or every hour. So apart from all your normal advanced stuff, you get this basic stuff too. So guys coming to the 20th feature, we have off screen gestures like double tap to wake 
or I can simply draw a character or a letter and quickly open an application. So if I draw a C, it will open up camera app. So if your device is locked, it will ask you to unlock the device to open the app. But if your device is not locked, it will immediately open the application. So these are some nice gestures that you get on your Honor 5X. So guys coming to the last feature, this is just a gallery app. If I select an image and go to menu, I get this option to show on map. So using this feature, I can see where I have taken that picture. So for this feature to work, you need to have location information in the image. So there you have it guys, these are 21 unique and awesome features of your Honor 5X. So guys, if you know any more awesome cool stuff, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you have any doubts, once again, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.